everyone acknowledge the feeling of a bit of magic here. I don't know, I, I can't really bring it in, into words, but when you're here, you just feel it's, it's different. Monaco is a special track for Formula E because it's very smooth, it's, it's quite big compared to what we are used to. So it's, it's important to be spot on in terms of driving, in terms of tire preparation, and in terms of setup. the first racing car that has been circular by design. We've learned the lessons, especially in terms of the impactful areas for the car, in terms of the Gen 2 and the Gen 3. The car is lighter, more power, uh, the motor in the front, so I think uh, in terms of uh, performance we will really, really feel uh, much more different than we've had in the past. We go green in Monaco, pretty good start from Evans. Verne got away a little slowly. Verline is going to the outside as they come into Sandoval. Lock up from Evans. Stoppel Van Dorn wins the Monaco E-Prix and moves to the lead of the championship.